So let's talk about exporting fiber mesh. So let's say you want to export the, um, the body here, or the fiber mesh of the body. Uh, you would select the fiber mesh here and go down in the fiber mesh settings. And what you want to do is um, choose this, export curves. When I'm working with fur or hair, I prefer to export this as curves instead of geometry because you know, that's how it works with most 3D applications. So you can click this button fast preview and this slider pre uh, preview fibers visibility basically determines how many uh, fiber mesh uh, strands will be shown in the viewport and also exported as curves. So you can export all of them or just uh, like 10%, I don't know. So let's say you have another kind of situation. Uh, here I made two different sets of fiber mesh. So let's talk about these red. They got uh, several sides in or sorry, profiles uh, in the um, fiber mesh settings, which means they have, uh, you can see this one is flat, it only has one side basically, but this one is actually, actually a tube. And the only way to export it is either as curves, which you probably don't want, or you can export it as an OBJ by pressing the export button, that's fine. Just an OBJ somewhere. Um, now you have, in this case, they only have one side and you can export these as curves or you can export them as an OBJ, but you also have a third option and that is to export it as a vector displacement map. And basically what it does is it exports like a skeleton as Pixelogic describes it. Um, and also a vector displacement map. And I will show you the results of this export. Uh, hang on, Let's see. Yeah, what you get is this, which seems a bit weird, but what you get is uh, the start point and the end point of each uh, fiber mesh strand. So maybe it went like this. And uh, what's also included in the, the export is this. It's a uh, vector displacement map. So when this is subdivided and uh, in the th 3D application and the vector displacement map is applied, you will get You will get this, but not only that, you will get um, how it looks like when it's rendered, which is with mu multiple sides and bulging out in the end. So that's it about exporting fiber mesh.